from that. So if this is x of t, this is y of t. We know that y of t is nothing but uh, the same copy y of x of t, but shifted in time domain. We apply the formula. Instead of y of t, it is uh, x of t minus td. It is exactly x of t shifted in time. And apply uh, this, this transformation, the time domain. So we integrate with respect to t, we have this dummy variable, lambda equal t minus td, and at the end, we arrive at, at this expression, which is this. And this is a very important result. So it means that if we have a signal in time domain, and you know its spectrum, and you are given that this signal being shifted in time to be around t, any, any t, it is in frequency domain, this would be the, the result. So this is, if a signal is shifted in time domain, this is the, the spectrum of the new signal. How the spectrum of the new signal is related to the spectrum of the old signal. This is the most important part of this, of this, of this, of this section. You see that? It is the same spectrum of the original signal multiplied by this complex part. We know that, uh, you know this, this property that Ejx is one for all x. Do you know this? Or should I prove it? You prove it, please. So we know that Ejx is equal to cosine x plus j. Okay? So it means that Ejx squared plus cosine squared x plus. So this means that absolute value is one over this. Okay? So we apply this, this simple uh, result here. So that's why when we try to, to find that, okay. So what we have, we have this. So if x of t, its Fourier transform is, it means that I know the Fourier transform of a signal x of t. Suppose that I have another signal, and this signal is x of t minus tau by j by a constant. The spectrum of this signal is, is exactly the same spectrum multiplied by a minus j2 minus j2 minus j2 minus j2 this is y of t. So it means that the spectrum of the new signal is the spectrum of the old signal multiplied by this. This means that the amplitude spectrum Believe me, this is a very important result. Because later on we we'll see that, that power or energy is related to the to the amplitude. So it means that when you shift, whenever you shift a signal in time domain, this will not affect the power, this will not affect the energy. Okay? And a consequence of this is that what will be the angle of this? Why is this true? Because the absolute value of this is the absolute value of this. And the absolute value of this is one, so and the angle of this is the angle of the original spectrum plus or minus the angle of this. What is the angle of this? Is two pi So this is the first important property that whenever we shift a signal in time domain, 
in frequency domain, we multiply the signal by this complex factor. But the result of that is that the amplitude spectrum is the same, does not change with time shifts. The next important property is that the other way, is the frequency translation. Why it is the frequency translation? So whenever we take a signal in time domain, so this is again uh, maybe the most important property of the Fourier transform as far as communication of the energy is, is concerned. So this is the basis of modulation. So whenever, now, we shift the spectrum of the signal. So if we have a signal, so this is frequency. This is frequency. So if, if we have a signal that has this, this spectrum, so this is the spectrum. And if I shift it in, in frequency domain, it will be around another frequency. So this is X. In time domain, this is equivalent to take the signal, multiply it by so if in time domain okay, so if in time domain you take a signal x of t you multiply it by this must be plus by this complex function complex exponential function as a result, in, in frequency domain, it is shift in the frequency domain to be centered around it. That's why it is frequency translation of frequency. Uh, again, the proof is not, is not, uh, is not difficult. We just substitute for this, this signal instead of y t. And then this is, uh, you, you combine this, if not, and if is this and now this means that if we have a signal in the frequency domain with this spectrum if we take this signal in time domain we multiply the signal with this complex ex exponential function as a result i shift the spectrum, original spectrum of the signal, which was around the origin, around zero, around DC, to be around. Okay? And this is a very, very desired property. Because with this, we can shift the spectrum of the signal from any frequency region into another frequency range. <coughs> so this way, we can transmit the signals through different channels. Because we can easily transform a signal from a range, from a given frequency range, into another frequency range. This is good, I mean, this is what, what we want. Provided that we show that we can, we are able to recover the signal back into its original, original frequency domain. Remember that, so we are allowed to do anything at the, trans at the transmitter side, provided that at the receiver side, we can inverse the operation. We can reverse the signal. Okay? So this signal was around DC, around zero. It is shifted to be around this. Now, what can you say about a signal with this spectrum? Is this? Yes? It's a complex signal. That's it, yeah. This is a complex signal. Why? It is not. It has not any kind of symmetry here. So this is a complex signal. Indeed, you see that? It is a complex, so this is real multiplied by a complex part, which is a complex, so this is a complex signal. This, but the reality we are interested in the, into the uh, real signals. Is it possible, is it possible to translate a real <coughs> signal from a given frequency range into another frequency range and get another real signal. 
this is will be in this exercise, which I suggest to be after that 10 minutes break, okay?